Hi everyone, I'm Deborah, and welcome to my channel. A friend gave me this entertainment center. She tried to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but didn't have any offers. It's a really nice piece of furniture, but most of us today have larger TVs than this could hold. So, I'm gonna give it a refresh and turn it into something beautiful. This is a neat drawer here. It actually opens up, but you also can pull the front face of the drawer down if you wanted to use it more as a cubby. And you can see here, it's got a little bit of damage. I'm gonna replace the back. You see there, these staples were in so hard. It was kinda of hard to get it off, but there we go. You just find some interesting things when you start going through drawers and looking at the back of furniture. I got this piece of backboard on clearance actually for $10. That was fun. And this outlet is kind of nice if you're going to have a lot of stuff up on top in this area that you would use, but I, I don't think it's necessary, so I took it off. Okay, so this is Awesome Cleaner. I looked up the reviews because I've used it before and the reviews are really great on how it's a degreaser, it cuts through dirt and grime, and it's a great cleaner, so I went ahead and used that. And then it's a little short um, for the use that I'm gonna use it for, so I decided to put on some new legs, so we took these off. Give it some height. And as you can see, they all just screwed in nicely from where I took the opens off. And I wanted to get rid of this little scalloped piece. And this piece of furniture was put together like a puzzle. So there's no screws that I could take out. So the only way to remove this was to actually cut into that bar and pull it out. <laughs> and left a big hole there that we'll have to take care of. I decided to get rid of the scallops as well. Give it more of a smooth look up top. And I don't really have a proper table, <laughs> so I just use the piece of furniture and my big toolbox table over there. And then I even used my husband's car <laughs> to help spread that out so I could get a good cut. And then I'm making a hole so that you can put a cord through the back and plug that in. Just smoothing it out a little bit with some sandpaper. And that's the back. It was actually just a tad bit too big, so I used my sander and smoothed it out, and it fit perfectly. Just held in nice there, and I just went around with my nail gun and put it back together. So I've used Bondo once before and did not have any success with it, but it's such a great bonding um, material to use that I knew I needed to give it another try. And actually, it worked great this time. I mixed it up. My, um, the time I had to be able to use it, I didn't have to go super fast, but I was able to fill in the holes on the sides um, where other shelves, I guess, used to be. And then the big holes where I took out the piece of wood. There were also two places that had some damage, so I used it there just took my orbital sander to smooth it out some and then just a piece of sandpaper and I am using up paint and this is um, Grinch I think is how you say it and it's a nice to me like a coffee cream color so I thought it'd be good because we are changing this entertainment center into a coffee cabinet so like a coffee bar this is the first time I'm using my sprayer I was so excited 
I was nervous excited. Um, it was so funny. My husband laughed at me because I was just jumping around. I was so thrilled to use it for the first time. And it wasn't perfect. I'm certainly going to have to, um, you know, to just do it a few more times and get comfortable with it and get my settings right. But it worked well enough and I had so much fun. So I gave it three coats of paint. And I did a light sanding between coats. And then I used this fill and stick um, wallpaper or really like contact paper to put in the drawer here. I thought that went really well. My husband and I were so sick. <laughs> during this week this is last week but um, I just would go out and just do a little bit each day <laughs> and here it is I added a gold bar there with the gold hooks and I love these knobs I think they look perfect with this color paint and just for a coffee bar and the drawer you can use it for your coffee supplies tea supplies there's that um, door front that folds down could have a little trash can down here, bottles of water, other supplies for your coffee station. The height is just perfect. What do you think? I think it turned out beautiful. I was so glad that my friend thought of me and that I was able to turn it into something useful again and something beautiful. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and I'd love to see you again. Have a great day.